Yeah, well, I think the big difference is now is like, you know, last year we would be in those games, right? And we'd have the lead or we'd, you know, and we'd lose it in the end. Where this time we, we, it, there was a lot more fight in there because because they belong, right? They, they've, they've, they've learned it. And you're, you're part of this this puzzle now. And it, 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 you can win these games, all right? It's not a surprise anymore to anybody. Like, you know, you, you can compete in these games. You can do those things. And so I think that's the big difference in this team um, this year is to be able to see them get in those games and understand, like, no, no, we can win this game. We can take this game, you know? And so... Um, it was really good to see. Yeah, well, it's, I tell you, it's been it's been interesting. I think it's been more collectively, like we've seen just sides of the ball, right? I mean, offensively, I think we've grown and we've gotten smarter about what we're trying to do. And so you're seeing our hitters compete. You're looking, looking, you're seeing them, you know, hot pitches. You're seeing them sit on, you know, off speed pitches. You're seeing them do a lot of great things. Have plans at the plate, right? Um, the second thing, I mean, like our pitching and defense, completely different now. You know, they're attacking the zone. They're they're getting weak contact. We're pitching in the defense. I mean, they're doing things that we're playing a better better brand of softball right now. And so, so it's hard to point out just one exact person, but the units of of each side of the ball, I've been really impressed with. Yeah. Well, I think I think the big thing for us this weekend is again we're going against more great softball teams, and so for us to go out and just be able to just go toe to toe with them, play clean ball, right? You know, go out and compete at the plate, you know, attack the strike zones. That's what we're looking for. It's it's early, it's early on these early on tournaments. Like you're looking to see us grow and 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 be better in our process because every game that we play this weekend is going to help us. It helps us RPI wise. It helps us getting prepared for Big Twelve tournament and Big Twelve uh, season. So you know, there's a lot of good takeaways from this, and that's why we beat the schedule up. You know, we're going we're going down to San Marcos to play some more great softball teams that are going to challenge us. And so, but that that early on challenge only makes us better for us moving forward. What are some things you want to do better from last weekend to this weekend? I think we talked a lot about um, kind of situational hitting. Uh, I think we le we left you know a, a pretty decent amount of runners in scoring position last weekend, and so we really talked through that um, as a program. Going, hey, let's be better. Uh, we have an opportunity to score runs. Let, let's be better at the plate and, and, and making that happen. You know, and so um, and then just really small things, small detailed things that we have to sure up on defense or sure up on the mound. And so, but that was a big one for us, kind of glaringly looking at it, like, okay, if we could be better at that, that's a few more runs that we can uh, put on the board, help us win ball games. And what are some benefits to, you know, I guess this is kind of how the softball season goes. You play a lot of games at once and you get a little bit of a break. How does that help you guys early in the season? Yeah, I mean, it's a grind, right? I mean, 56 games in a matter of four and a half months is, is a lot. And so, you know, we'll, we'll be three weeks into the season by next weekend and have 15 games, 16 games under our belt, and which is a lot. It's a lot. And so um, it's a grind. It is definitely a grind. But, you know, again, you put the pressure on us right now because it is, pressure is, is going to be in Big 12. Pressure is going to be in postseason. So learning how to manage that pressure now is a really big deal. And so, you know, it, it's not a bad thing to go out and play as many as you can right now and get them in while you can, you know, to prepare us for the next, you know, coming bit. Hey Coach, you're playing under, uh, you're playing first night game of the year. Is playing in these stadium lights compared to the sun change, like visibility, communication, how does that work? Uh, always night games are always challenging, right? I mean, because, you know, the ball seems to jump a little bit more out of the pitcher's hands, and um, and so it looks like it's a lot faster than sometimes what it really is. But, again, another another good opportunity for us to get out and, you know, get up and compete with that. But, you know, shouldn't see too big of a difference in, you know, our play, you know, based off night or day. And then how do you encourage players to adapt to, like, unexpected changes or sequences during a game? Yeah, I mean, it, the game's ever changing, right? I mean, that's that's what you, the adversity is going to hit. Adversity is going to be a part of this, and so you know that takes time. You, you know, and we always talk about pressure. And when when that adversity does come, pressure's a privilege. Like you put yourself in this position, you know, and so now being able to compete and get through that is everything. And so, uh, but you know, it, you the the adversity and the things that that happen, the, the changes that that is just I think you have to continue to get in those situations to learn how to work through them more than anything. I went to the field, so I just, um, yeah, just the San Marcos tournament, just, you know, this time of year, why these tournaments are so important in February. Yeah, again, I, I think you're playing great opponents early on, you know, and so again, that, that prepares us for, for, you know, the Big 12 season, that prepares us for, um, you know, postseason, that prepares us as we move forward in this, because, you know, our conference is the best softball conference out there, there's no question about it, and so for us to get in there and have to compete right now, it's just, it's just helping the ball club grow a, a lot quicker than normal.
Nice. Just anything about starting the year three and two? I probably missed that part. Yeah, I mean, it was it was what a great tournament. I mean, you know, you go down and play Florida State, and you play Charlotte, you know, and you know, FAMU, and you know, Charlotte's a great team. That's a great team. It's a top twenty-five team. Obviously, Florida State, the top five team, and it went toe to toe with them. You know, trade trade blows back and forth, and to, to see that compete value, to see us bounce back, was was really impressive. You know, and could have easily been four and one. You know, you're one pitch away, but that's the game. It's a game of inches. You know, and so um, good for our ball club to learn that now. You know, and. and Go back and reevaluate. And go, okay, we would have done X, Y, Z differently, and you know, and then move forward. This is a team team. Yes, they are. This is a postseason team, you know, and that's the one thing I keep telling these kids is that this ball club, like, you belong. You belong in the conversation, and don't forget that, you know. And I think that's where, you know, I think for 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 years we we've struggled of going like, okay, are we? Are we not? We are. This is this team belongs in that conversation, and so you know I'm going to pound that in the head the day I die. You belong in this conversation. You've proven you you belong in this conversation. So continue, continue to fight, continue to stay in your process, and continue to battle. And I think good things will happen for us in the end.